subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Yeah, man, it's going down. It's Danny Houston Podcast. I am Danny Houston. Check it out, man. Uh, we got some special guests, man. If y'all looking around, trying to figure out, man, what's, what's going on, all this carrying on going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the plaque party. You know what I'm saying? Plaque party. And, man. Uh, hey, man, today's guest, man, it's, uh, we got two boy players, man, representing that PA, man. T.O.E., you know what I'm saying? The boy Toe. Yes, sir. And my dog, man, DJ Beto. What's, what's going down? man? Yeah. What's up, baby? We're here, man. Shit. It's been a minute, man. I'm glad to be here, man. What's happening? Man, shit, shit. What's the word? Man, everything. Everything up, man. You know, I wanted to share this with you first. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long time coming. I've been watching you. We watching each other. And, you know, I want to take this time out to say I love what you're doing for the culture, man. It's, it's needed and it's appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Man, I love about The voice coming from down there. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. So, let's, I mean, it, you know, let's just go get into it, man. We got it with these plaques going on right now. You know what I'm saying? We got some UGK in here. You know, which everybody know that, you know what I'm saying? If you keep up with B though, you know about the UGK. But we got these Nipsey Hustle plaques up here, man. Yes, sir, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? This, you know, business, no this, business, this, so. this this really my partner, so I know what's going on. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but just to, to let it you know, we're gonna let the cat out the bag, man, you know what I'm saying? Talk about your involvement with this whole Nipsey Hustle. The Nipsey rap Hustle niggas, Victory rap Lab, niggas. all that. Victory Lab, man, okay. Uh, well, it, it really all started, say like 2009. I met Nip through Mr. Lee. Uh, he was working with Nip, and at the time, me and Lee would be like, you know, if I'm working with somebody that got an open budget, uh, I holler at him and vice versa. That's how we keep each other working. Producer-wise from Texas, cross country. So uh, he ended up accidentally leaving uh, some tracks, and it was the first song I ever did with Lil Wayne. It was a Pimp C Lil Wayne song that leaked called Let's Talk Money. I made a track and I sampled T Pain, Let Me Buy You a Drink on the hook or whatever. You know, it was a verse with C on it, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to Red Boy, you know what I'm saying? Ended up Wayne ended up on the motherfucker, and it leaked. And when it leaked, uh, Nip had the same track and he did what any other artist would do. I need to put my version out while this shit is hot on the internet or whatever. And for It ended up getting pulled, but he had it on uh, Bullets I Ain't Got No Names Volume 2. I produced that. So that was the relationship. That's how I built the relationship with him. Uh, fast forward, I ain't do no more work with him because of how it went at that moment, but the next song we did was Rap Niggas. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, we did that record in 2013, right before he even signed to Atlanta. <clears throat> he signed the deal in 2014. Uh, Victor Lap was supposed to come out in 2015, but for whatever reason it didn't, you know what I'm saying? And when it came out in 18, you know, the business wasn't right. <clears throat> but uh, I'm a student of the game. You know, everything ain't for everybody. You gotta stay on top of it and handle your business. You know, I learned that a lot from, shout out to Mike Mack and, and you know, you know, King J Prince, you know, I'm a student of the game, you know, I've been on all the Pimp C projects, the Bun B projects, from uh, the Naked Soul, uh, the Steel Pimping, uh, I produced Count Money on Bun B Trilogy, you know what I'm saying? Now, we're going to talk about this plaque though right here. Because y'all own this record here. We're on, no, it's right. all, let me just, this, this what started everything, okay? Go on here and talk about how uh, Grind Hard come about. Shit, uh, grind hard, um, uh, Pimp had just got out of jail and shit, and I had got at him about a verse, and, uh, paid him the money for the verse and shit, did the song, shit, he gave me the money back, and was like, shit, you fucking with me now, you mm. know what I'm saying, put us on the album and shit like that. Well, tell him how you came, actually, hold on. That, that, that happened, but you skipping the part. What part? He called you, told you to, hey, fuck with the track. You called Rude. Rude called me. I was in the studio at Rock Solid Studio. Shout out to OGN. And you came, to, you brought me the files yeah. from PA. Oh, Dre, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got Rude, Dre, yeah. yeah. 
So, peep, I'm in the studio with uh, I think I want to. I believe I had a session with Kiki then, but he had came to the uh, the building at the time. It was at 26, 26. He bring the uh session to me. He was like, man, pimp say fuck with the track. I redid the entire track. I sampled uh. I sampled Pimp C from uh, Cocaine in the Back of the Ride on Grind Hard. He asked me, like, how much you want for the track? I said, I don't want shit. Give me the last verse. <laughs> I jumped on that bitch. I sent it to Pimp. He said, man, that shit going on that motherfucking album. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, man, I ain't mixed the bitch. It was on two track and all that shit. I'm like, man, I got to mix this. Man, fuck that. It's, it's right now. Yeah. He getting that, we ended up shooting in LA. Shot to LA. It made the UGK album. It's featuring, it's UGK featuring Young T.O.E. and DJ B though. But it's Toe on the first verse, Pimp on the second verse, I'm on the last and I produced it. I'm telling Pimp to make sure it get on the album, but at least take my verse out. Get bun on it. Man, fuck that bitch, it's done. He got a song with the middle fingers on it. This my song with my niggas. And that's how we gonna rock it. It's two CDs. Yeah. It's a double album anyway, and that's just how that shit went. I doubt, I don't even think Bun heard it until the album nah, came. We by. went to LA and and did the mixing and mastering. The mastering, like, yeah. It was but crazy he, but, but, but even before then, talk about because I mean y'all from PA, but even talk about how y'all even started, you know, getting these relationships with Pimp. You know what I'm saying? Man, man my Amy was on the, <laughs> the first motherfucking um. Yeah, she. That, matter of fact, that, her name that, was Infinity yeah. on. Oh, uh, what album was that? Was too, too hard, too to, hard swallow. to swallow on cramping my yeah. style. Yeah, that's his ain't his auntie. That's uh the chick on the rap. Yeah, Shout out Kim. What's happening? So I used to when I did used to bump into him. I used to let him know, but he already knew a lot of my people and shit in the way. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how that shit went. Hmm. And then Beto, I remember you was telling me uh you was uh what, what studio was that you was uh yeah i got a relationship with through the inner soul click through the inner soul studios click uh god damn it uh sean dre god damn rich peace j will chive lank all of my niggas you know what i'm saying uh and d it was dmd tied to that too? he was the artist on the label but uh uh i was my relationship is through the life through the through, through inner soul is through sean dre you know chop yeah. So, uh, you know, just being young and through the streets, you know. Uh, but I will talk about this though. Uh, when Pimp come home. Uh, we were working on on a mixtape with some PA shit, bro. I, you, I he had me bring my computer, bro. I'm talking about we in the trap on the floor. I'm on the floor recording Pimp. I wish I still had the flip phone that I had recorded at the time. This 2006, bro. Pimp on top of the world. He, I'm driving. I'm living in Houston, but I'm going back and forth to Houston. I mean, back and forth to PA just so I can stay close to, to the motion. What's going on, right? The motion, the real motion. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm talking about we recorded anywhere. Mike up in the corner. We going to get that shit done. A lot of the UGK album was recorded in a goddamn vacant house. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Nobody know that. But. A couple of them features Pimp had when he first came home. That shit was, some of them was done in apartments. <laughs> my homeboy Beat Boy Studio. He right. had a little set up beans. Yeah, had, damn. He he knew Pimp real good. So anytime they had little licks on verses and shit, yeah, the studio right there. See, man, people don't talk about. It. You know, it's, you hear a lot of the crazy shit about Pimp. Pimp put boys on bread. Yeah, for sure. You know, that's why I said, if I'm going to do it, we're going to do it right. Because uh, without Pimp, I wouldn't have this plaque. He told me about some a situation in the music industry, and he gave me the game. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to go through what I went through. Go ahead and fix that. You know what I'm saying? Give me the knowledge to be able to, if something ever happened, you can flip it and just, you know, be a player by the but handle your business. Yeah, that nigga gave me that money back for that grind hard verse, and I started getting my first checks from Sony. Yep. Come off that motherfucker page. <laughs> Even more. You know what I'm saying? Album went number one. The first record we did with C ended up on the UGK. Double this album, they hit number one on the charts. You know what I'm saying? So we, I'm talking about this shit. That's why I said, you know what? I need to pull up with the plaques. And I've been telling you, I said, man, even when I'm telling you about the Nipsey shit before it even started hitting up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? 
Before it started hitting the waves, I wanted to make sure. I told like, bro, I'm going to sit down with you first. Yeah, yeah. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.